Hey everyone, it is Horizon Storm 82 here with another Minecraft tutorial where today I want to be teaching you about random tick speed in Minecraft. Before we get started, make sure to smash the subscribe and like buttons and share this video. And once we hit, I don't know, my goal for now is 65 subscribers. So if you guys are part of those people who are not subscribed, Make sure you subscribe and I'll do something special, okay? So, let's get into it. So, I have my sheep plushie, my zombie plushie, and my pug. I know, they're all derpy. Derpy and cute. So, I think I need a carrot. Okay. So, random tick speed decides how fast things will be. So, let's, let's see, let's go to, let me just see something, okay? Okay, so I'm going to hop on over to Bedrock Edition, where these guys will sadly not be with us. They're going to be floating on top of the void, just in case anything bad happens. You guys could just hop on down there. So, um, yeah, let's hop on over to Bedrock Edition right now. Okay, so I'm heading in the world right now, and I will teach you what tick speed, well, random tick speed does. Let's just change my skin. This is my just having fun skin. Okay, so let's do it right on here. So let's get ourselves a beautiful wooden hoe. And then a crop. What should we get? Um, Let's get potatoes and let's also get some dirt because you know dirt's beautiful what was that why are you making so much noise go away what what is this i have no idea what's going on um i just right clicked the glow squid but yeah it's washing paint dry it takes forever, but if you go into the settings on Bedrock Edition, I have no idea how to do this on Java. You, if you allow cheats, if you allow cheats, you will see the random tick speed. It will always be at one, but you can change that to however high you want. And then you cannot go higher than 4096. And as you can see, it grows really, really fast. Dirt. Watch me dry. Dirt. But yeah, if you are like on the Nintendo or something, it will make your world really laggy. What was that? See, what did I talk about laggy? Now that is some serious lag right there. But that doesn't mean it only works above. Above. Now let's see. So like, let's get some bone meal. See, it takes a little bit. It's not instant like it used to be. So now let's turn down the random tick speed. Let me show you the lag that it creates. See, everything is instant now. It is all instant. I'm making the ocean floor look quite hideous, to be honest. But yeah, this is watching paint dry. 
If you place dirt underwater and expect it to grow, you are crazy. Dirt does not grow underwater. Dirt just stays dirt. Dirt doesn't change. So yeah, don't do experiments with dirt underwater. Don't do redstone with dirt. Don't do building with dirt, unless you're trying to build a dirt hut. Like, I'll show you what a dirt hut looks like. And then we'll see how long it takes it for it to turn into grass. This just hurts me. I'm a tutorial person, not a builder, so that this is the, the kind of house I would live in. imagine me standing inside this i am not gonna stand inside it because in the 1.17.2 we're gonna get mud bricks and this is what that's what this house is gonna turn into mud like adobes they're made of mud but they're nice mud they're not this now let's see how long it takes for it to dry let me zoom in a little bit so that it looks more realistic It's been 10 seconds. It's been too long. Oh my goodness, I can't, I can't play with this. Let's turn on my sensitivity. It just makes it worse. Okay, but yeah, that is random tick speed. So, I'm clicking the wrong button on my mouse. Um, yeah, th this, is, this is terrible. Don't play like this. I'd rather play in Quake Pro. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching. So make sure to smash the subscribe like button and share this video. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. We just dig down. Bye. Boop. Look at that. I hit bedrock already. I'm standing in the void. I'm standing in the void.